Odele Vatos. Just leaving recoil. Got their returns and some box. They, the guy that's in charge and over in China, he he sometimes force. China's like this sometimes. They like force feed you. You know, it's like their problems become your problems, and and because you're on the 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 high end, as they say. You know, like Walmart makes so much more money than like Colgate. Like Colgate makes good money, but Walmart makes even better money because um, they're on the retail end. So there's more maintenance, right? You got to collect taxes, you got to do all this other stuff, things like that. So, but um, let me see if this cop's gonna bug me. Doesn't look like it. It's a five zero. Um. So, uh, so okay, so bad news. Um, Larry passed on the cones. He's not gonna do the cone deal. He's just, it's just too many, so which is fine. So what I'm gonna do is gonna do it on my own, and I'm just gonna do the minimum order quantity, which is 100 pieces of each, so. Um, and then when I'm a super rich guy, then I can hire Larry to come butler for me, so. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, th so the ribbed cones, I'm just gonna do 100 pieces of each color and I'll probably only do maybe like 12s. No, I'll do it, fuck it, I'll just do 12s, 15s, and 10s, which is what I was gonna do in the first place, so. Because uh, Lord of Base seems to be out of these and I think it's a high demand item, so. But it was, it, it was, a, it was a hard sell for his partner in China because they do so well already with the channels that are set up, uh, even through Amazon. So, because they're, it's 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 two separate companies, but like one's doing the factory production, and then the other one's doing the um, distribution and sales. Um, but when you own both parts of the machine, you know, money from one pocket just goes into the other. It's the same thing like when um, you know Disney owns radio stations, and what do you know? The only radio you know programs that they promote are ones that they own, right? And they're only artists on the labels that they own. So th those are monopolies, but when you, you allow or take money from other people, then it's not a monopoly anymore. So whatever, it's, it's a really efficient way to make money. And so I understand, but yeah, I'm just going to do the corn thing on myself and uh, just push it out another year. That's how it goes. But um, Larry, Larry did give me uh, a bunch of equipment to move which is more of those eight inch powered subs, which you, which do great by the way. Thank you very much guys. I, I'm doing those for 80 shipped. Uh, it's just an eight inch powered sub with like a hundred, 150 watt amp. And it does good enough. So, and it's got, it comes with the, the uh, wiring harness, uh, which I think is eight or 10 gauge or something like that. And then uh, it's got speaker level input and RCA input. So either way, but yeah, we're doing those for 80 bucks shipped. And I think I got some of the 10 inch versions in and one of the new 11 inch uh, subwoofers, so to try out and, and sample. So the other new things that we've got, I was telling you earlier about the force feeding. Um, they did, okay, so there's a demand right now for 12 inch boxes ported, uh, dual 12 inch and then single ported, the single, single 12 inch, there's just shortages, especially the dual. Well, I, I ended up passing on them saying, no, I don't want them, but they were like, they, I guess they were already in the pipe. So they're like, okay, so now I got to buy uh, something like four pallets of these things. And so, which is fine. I, the money that I make ends up, you know, going to Larry anyway. And, and then he fronts me on a lot of this stuff. So I don't really care because it's, it's all just stuff I do anyway. And I, I get to help people and it helps me move stuff. So it's fine. It's all good is what I'm saying. So, but, um, uh, some more capacitors. We got the one ferret capacitors for 25 bucks. We're doing those 25 bucks shipped. Um, let's see what else. Um, I think only a couple more of the copper kits, copper wire kits. And then, uh, oh, there's new coaxials. So again, that was another thing that uh, China kind of force fed on, on Larry was uh, they're doing four inch coaxials on the RCX series. Uh, that you see on uh, Amazon 
So uh, you're going to see an RCX4 in the Amazon store, and Larry gave me a box to sort of pr promote for him and show you guys. Not that a lot of people use up a lot of fours, but they're available now. <laughs> so um, RCX4 and then RCX5, which is the five and a quarter, and then they have the five and a quarter and a coaxial and the component. So, um, but uh, I think that was about it. So bad news, picked up more stuff. The back seat is just fucking full. The trunk is full. So, but uh, thank you guys always for your support. I'll do, I, I gotta do some, uh, some build video stuff. I wanna get home and do that update on the, uh, the 18 inch PA woofer slash, you know, EDM base woofer. And then also some other builds, so. But love you guys, oh, that was somebody, somebody else pointed out that uh, Ed Lester, started doing car videos <laughs> he was like you do car videos but I'm like I don't whatever I don't there's a lot of people that copy me I don't care it makes no difference to me Ed Lester is I I, I have no feelings for the guy either way I, I really I tried to watch his or listen to his podcast is super boring uh, if he's guilty of anything it's that and then also owning an HHR which is not even like a PT Cruiser like a PT Cruiser is like the Ferrari and the HHR is like a, you know, terrible station wagon, so. But, um, and that's Ed Lester. Good good on him. I don't I don't care. I don't see him going anywhere. He's not, he's not even like a good impersonation of JP. Like, there's only one JP. And you saw that when uh, Big D was up in his balls with that big nose of his and just, Oh, JP, I love you. Oh, let's go in the closet and play hide and seek, you know, whatever. It is. You got to understand that Big D... His living now is Google, is Google and YouTube. So, whatever, you know. Uh, try not to judge people that, you know, are jizz moppers, right? We all need jizz moppers. We need fluffers. We need jizz moppers. We need those people. Uh, Colby Doby in New Mexico, he empties uh, fucking dumpsters every day and he finds uh, homeless and drunk people behind them, under them all the time. It's like, we need him. We need him to do stuff. So send your love to Colby Doby and buy some peanut brittle for him. It's really good. I tasted it. It's really good brittle. It's a, uh, it's grandma brand or whatever, something like that. But I'll promote him in this video and put some links in the description. Oh, and then, um, I did post on Instagram cicada, uh, audio, which is the other Larry's, um, uh, pet project. This is the last one before he retires. So Larry Frederick has been a staple in car audio in many many brands um, his most recent one was really helping Sirwin Vega Mobile launch big time and um, then he, you know and he, he did that project and then he wanted something that he could really capitalize on and and also address the market that's not being addressed or is being you know gouged or whatever with you know okay product um, and so that's why he's really been put in the research and development like a lot of headaches getting these things made and for them to be really really nice and last you know uh, a lot of uh, have a long run time of service life so like I, I sold some you know woofers to a guy or uh, coaxials last night to a guy and I kind of felt bad for him because it's like it's hard to find good quality stuff for a good price and so that's what Larry F is doing with Cicada Audio and I'll put a link to his website in the description check him out if you if you do decide to uh, become a dealer, make sure you go to the end of the catalog. Read everything to the end, the best parts at the end. So, but I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.